Hello and welcome. My name is Kalyan Verma. Using dynamic visibility in Excelsius 2008, one can make a component appear or disappear based on an event. You can apply dynamic visibility to any component in Excelsius. Let's go ahead and get started. For this example, I'm going to use a pre-existing model which I uh, designed for to demonstrate a pie chart drill down. So let's go ahead and open it, go to file, open, open the pie chart drill down, XLF. Let's see what we have. So let's go ahead and preview it. I have a simple pie chart on the left and the drill down chart that is a column chart on the right. So if I click on the pie wedges, I see the data changing on the right. Basically, it's a drill down chart. What we're going to do now is to insert a checkbox which is going to display or disappear the drill down chart on the right. Let's go ahead and do that. The checkbox is under the selectors category. So I go to selectors, drag and drop a checkbox. Let's give the checkbox a name. In our case, we'll name it as drill down. And I'm gonna leave the insertion source data as zero for unchecked and one for checked. And give it a destination of B1. I bind it to B1, color B1 cell. Now what happens here exactly is when the user checks the checkbox, it inserts a value one in cell B1. And if he unchecks, it inserts a value zero in B1. For our example, we're going to go back to the checkbox properties, go to behavior, and by default, the selected item, we change it to checked so that the dashboard launches with the checkbox checked. Now we need to set the dynamic visibility of the drill down chart, that is the column chart, to appear if B1 is one, and disappear if B1 is zero. Let's go to the properties of the column chart, go to the behavior tab, under dynamic visibility, bind the status to cell B1, and when do you want the column chart to appear if cell B1 is one? So just put number one for key. So the column chart appears if B1 is one and disappears if it's anything other than one. In our case, B1 could only be one or zero because we're inserting the checkbox value into B1. Let's go ahead and preview and see what happens. On the dashboard launch, the checkbox is checked by default. That's the reason you can see the drill down chart. If I uncheck it, you cannot. So Basically, it's inserting zero and one in cell B1, and the dynamic visibility is acting on my drill down chart and making it appear or disappear based on the value in cell B1. That's how simple uh, you can, uh, that's how simple it is to you, for you to apply dynamic visibilities for practically any component in Excelsius. Let's take it a step further. I have another file uh, to show that. So let's open that file. I'm going to open this file. What we're trying to achieve here is <clears throat> if the user selects at least three of the selections of the six checkboxes that I have here, then only display the submit button or else do not. In order to achieve this, I have already set up six checkboxes and I have an instruction which says select at least three to continue. So if the user selects two, he or she would not see the submit button. If he selects three or more, they would see the submit button. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, let's, let me show you what I did with the checkboxes. Let's take the first checkbox, go to the properties. I bound the title to cell A3, which is sports. Similarly for all other checkboxes. And also I asked the checkbox to insert the source data, which is zero and one again, into the destination that is B3 for sports, B4 for music, and so on. 
Now, in order to make the submit button up here, if any of the three are selected, we're going to use the logic. So we're going to put a formula here. What we're going to do here is we're going to use a simple sum formula. Sum B3 through B8, which says zero for now. But let's say I checked sports, music, and outdoor. It puts one in the corresponding insert cells, and it's going to be three. And what, I, what we want here is to make the submit button appear if it's three or more. So I'm going to use a simple if formula in the next cell, which says if cell B9 is greater than or equal to three, then put one or put zero. Right now it's zero, but for let's say, let's assume that the check boxes in one, two, three are checked, which is it put it inserts one in all three cells. You see my cell B10, which has a F formula changed to one. So we're gonna bind the submit button to cell B10 so let's go to the behavior tab, go to the status, bind it to cell B10 and say this uh, up here if it's one, if B10 is one and do not if it's something else. So let's go ahead and preview and see what happens. On the initial load, I don't have anything checked. So I don't see the submit button. The user has to select at least three options in order to see in order to continue or see the submit button so i select one i still don't see it i select two i don't see it when i select three then the user is allowed to proceed with the submit button so you can force the users to follow a path using dynamic visibility so what happens if i select four it still remains but if i change back to two it disappears so you need to select at least three to continue this is how you can use dynamic visibility in various scenarios, uh, wherever, wherever the requirement demands. I hope uh, this helps in creating uh, interactive dashboards. Thank you.